Hey guys, Miles from United Ghosts here, and I'm going to be bringing you my uh, Infernoble deck profile. I've been playing the deck quite a while. Um, I came first place back to back at the uh, our local Yu Gi Oh League, the Welcome Back to Duel series thing. Uh, and I tried to get a profile out then, but I, I just forgot to. And then yesterday, I came second place in a Yu Gi Oh day. Um, so I got a little invite to the next stage. So that's cool. Um, I'm not going to explain too much about the cards. Uh, this list should be updated. I haven't played for a month um, and I quickly watched a 15-minute uh, a uh, MST TV video about what Virtual World did. I had no idea what they did. So the side deck isn't that great. It was just thrown together. And I do need to make some changes to counter that deck. But the same... Uh, I've still got the same theory for the deck, even going into the, the new format and playing against the new decks. The game's so crazy at the moment that... The way I've built my deck is all I care about is going first. So if I lose dice roll, I pretty much accept that I'm going to lose with the build I have. Uh, I have put a couple cards in there and max them, put them out free to try and help that. But most of the time, if I lose dice roll, I'm going to lose. I'll lose game one, that's fine. If I win the dice roll, it's optimized to play through the most amount of hand traps and make sure I win that game one. Game two, don't really care. Game three, once again, play the. I don't change the deck at all, just play the main deck. Play for all the hand traps. It's so, so good at playing for hand traps. So I think that's really how I play Infernobles. Obviously, yeah, if I lose the dice roll and I lose game one, uh, game two I should win, and then game three is where all our side deck comes in. We try to stop them, and then we combos. Uh, and it's been really, it's been working really, really well on Dawning Book. Um, and yeah, so let's just get straight into the deck profile. Oh, very firstly, massive shout out to Bala. Uh, he brought me a web... I didn't have a webcam, and the tournament was starting in 30 minutes, and he... Went up into his uh, his loft, got the webcam and brought it over. So big, big shout out to you, boss man. Thank you very, very much. So let's get on with the profile. So uh, I play free gear freed. Not a lot of people play this, but this is the card that will help me if I lose the dice roll. If I'm going to have a chance at winning, gear freed is going to be the card to help me get there. Uh, and plus he's just super broken. I do love setting up gear freed and then in the end phase, searching another gear freed off Roland to guarantee the win next turn. Um, so I, I do really like free. Tested two, but honestly, I just like free. He's an extender. Like, um, even if you, you know, you, sometimes I will just summon him to make an assault with him. I can get him away. He's, he's still an extender, so you don't have to be greedy with him all the time. Uh, so yeah, free gear freed. Then we play the free Renald. Uh, I wouldn't cut this. I think this guy's so good for the grind games. Uh, the very important guy, Oliver, always pretty much the MVP, allowing you to extend free stuff. Um, the one Ogier for the... Uh, gear free combo and this is where i think personally the deck's a little bit outdated I, i'm playing a stolfo i haven't i haven't changed the main deck for like a month uh, but stolfo is really good for grind games to be fair it's not bad against virtual world for grinding against them but the deck obviously doesn't want to be grinding but it, it's not the worst card it's still an extender but i do always feel like there is just a better card i could play so uh, she she could come out and then obviously the free uh, Neo Space Connector, he's amazing. And the Dolphin to go with it. Uh, free Red Layer, just a great extender. Uh, a great starter, I mean. Uh, two Fire Flint. I was playing one, but I do like having two because she's a great extender. And also, if you open the Gemba, summoning her off the Azor would help you unbrick. So I, I do really like the Fire Flint. And then the three cards you don't really want to open, Gemba, Death Spot, and the Cult Wing. And that is the monsters. Now for spells. We don't play any traps, so this will be the rest of the deck. Uh, the free Heritage. Then for the Equips, the free Durendal. I'm playing free DDR. I think this card is broken. Um, if they break your board and you're able just to banish the Charles with the Phoenix Blade, you can bring it back with this. This card just like, if you open one of these, it's normally game over because you can go Omega, Omega card at hand, bring back the Omega and do it again. Like, you really can just start tearing hands apart with this card. And if you open the as well, you can like loot the whole hand, it's crazy. Uh, and then we play one Living Fossil, one Smoke Grenade and one Phoenix Blade obviously. I choose to play one of this. Um, so I want, I want to play free this card, I think this card's way better, it's not once per turn, it has more uses, and this is just sub -fire. I don't know why I see people play free of this sometimes, but, I mean, you don't have to discard the card at least, I guess. But, uh, and then this is the other card I play at free to make sure if I am going to lose the dice roll, I have a chance at winning sometimes, 
The trouble tactics is amazing, but not only that, if I'm going first, this is pretty much an auto win. Like, if they activate the hand trap, you triple tactics them, that's it, it's game over, you full combo. If you don't activate it, then they haven't hand trapped you and you win anyway. So uh, this card is just so good. Uh, and then obviously Rota. And this is the only other card I'd think about taking out my deck. So the Astolfo and the Monster Reborn are the only cards I'm iffy about. But Monster Reborn is still a fantastic card. Being able to like, play Ogier, send uh, the gear through Monster Reborn back, it has a lot of uh, good plays. And when like some the amount of times I've activated um, the Sold and they've Ghost Ogered it, and then you can just Monster Reborn it back, is pretty, pretty nice. So that is the main deck. It is pretty perfect in my opinion, apart from maybe the Reborn and the Stofo. They're the only cards I'd maybe change. Uh, for the extra deck, we have the two Isolde, the one Needle Fiber, we'll put this aside for we'll talk about them in a minute, uh, the one Link Cross, the one Mecha Phantom Beast, and this is the 15th card. I'm playing Phoenix at the moment. This um, has changed so much. I, I am very tempted to play a second Harbor Fibrex, but I don't feel like it's needed. Um, Phoenix, like the fifteenth card, like there's so many options. You've got the Phoenix, you've got the Harbor Half Fibrax, uh, a second Herald, a um, what is it? Access Code. There's a lot of cards you can play, but the Phoenix doesn't come up a lot. But when it comes up, it's the most important I found. So I do really, really like playing the Phoenix, and it's caught me a couple wins because people just don't expect it. Then we have got Formula Synchron, Metal Marcher, Tatsunoko, Herald, Roland. Power Tool, Omega, Savage, and Charles. They're all pretty self-explanatory. You kind of need to play all of those. And then finally for the side deck, uh, don't judge me too harshly. I say <laughs> if this side deck was built after watching an MST TV video. Uh, and I was like, okay, how do, how do you kind of beat Virtual World? So I just put in two of these. Two of these. These are like somewhat good against Virtual World, I hear. These are really good against Dinos. Uh, they hit also Dragon Link a little bit. So I just thought I'm going to put these in. I wanted to play three of each, but I just couldn't find the space. Uh, Gamma, still an amazing card, so play the Gamma. Nibiru. Nibiru is great, but not as good I hear nowadays, but the ult you have to play them. Uh, the one Call by Grave, I actually, uh, we'll talk about this card in a minute. Uh, two Lightning Storm and a Red Reboot. Um, I was playing Drolls and a third Lightning Storm, but I took up the Drolls and one Lightning Storm for the other hand traps, the Lanciers and the, uh, the Ashes. But this card's really, really good, I find. Against like any kind of like shuttle variant, if they like schism, you can hit the target. Against the Buster deck, you can hit the target. Like this card has been really, really key. It's probably like one of my favorite cards to side in when I'm going second. Like it really, really is nice. Which is weird. Like I, I, I never side it in going first. I only side it in going second. Uh, yeah, that is the deck. I'm loving the deck. I think the deck's really, really strong. There are so many strong decks in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. It's crazy. Hopefully the ban list will uh, come out soon and spice it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, that is it. Let me know uh, down in the comments suggestions that I could uh, replace the Monster Reborn and the Astolfi for. I really don't know. They've always been iffy cards, but they've always performed pretty well. Uh, and yeah, that is it. I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Stay safe. And lastly, shout out to United Ghosts and shout out to our sponsors, Ultimate Guard. You'll be able to find out their store. You'll be able to find their store in the description below. Okay, guys, peace.